Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the latest on Hurricane Jose in a few minutes. Uh, I'm noting uh, some locally dense fog across parts of coastal Massachusetts right now, and that'll more than likely occur in Narragansett Bay and the Rhode Island shoreline overnight as well. So be mindful of that, especially early tomorrow morning. Some locally dense fog. Give it time. It'll thin out to at least some partial sunshine. Another warm day coming up for tomorrow. Skies are clear in Providence. Temperatures in most areas, upper 60s, including 69 in Providence. Light southwest breeze. High humidity, so light breezes high humidity, kind of a tip off that the air is still and calm enough to make some fog. So as far as uh, Hurricane Jose, what we know and what's uncertain, what one thing's for sure, and really this is up and down the entire East Coast, big ocean impacts in terms of uh, big waves, swells, heavy surf, rip currents, and perhaps even some beach erosion. The worst of that uh, well, it starts a little bit uh, at our beaches, you know, on Sunday, but more so Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. What's still uncertain this far out, four or five days out, you know, storm strength, storm track, because this will dictate any potential uh, issues on land, meaning rain and wind. We could certainly have the storm be far enough offshore so that we miss rain and wind completely and all we get are the big waves and the surf. So that's kind of the wild card that we have to watch very closely. And again, the timeline on this is really not until Tuesday, Wednesday. So we are dry through the weekend, even Monday, despite the, the surf on the increase, not anticipating uh, any rain and wind on Monday. So locally on Doppler radar, it's quiet, skies are clear. Had a few showers to our north that are fizzling out and off to our west, uh, quiet weather. So it looks good for the weekend, no issues with storms. Florida, Carolina coastline, southern New England, that is a Hurricane Jose. Uh, winds now category one storm uh, with winds of 75 miles per hour. The one thing I have noted, there's a lot of dry air on the western side of the storm. So this drier air is actually right in here. Watch, see how it's clear is being ingested inside the storm. And these storms don't like dry air. Uh, they it disrupts their structure. Sometimes they have a hard time uh, getting stronger or larger when dry air is being infused. So this is an interesting thing that we'll have to keep an eye on, even though Hurricane Center still feels as though it will strengthen a little bit up to perhaps 80, 90 miles per hour. Here's the latest from the Hurricane Center moving northwest at 10 winds of 75. And here's the envelope of hurricane and tropical storm force winds. So it's kind of a, it's a compact storm and the forecast track has it moving in this general direction. Category one storm Monday off the Carolina coastline. There's southern New England. How far to the north does it go before it starts to bend out to sea? That's a big uh, wild card, but making its closest pass uh, in that Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. And quite simply, a, a track closer to the coast means we get some rain and wind, and a track further offshore means we miss it. One thing's for sure, big waves. This is our wave height forecast model. A lot of wave energy offshore that's going to come crashing towards the coastline uh, beginning uh, especially Monday into Tuesday and Wednesday. So surf and beach erosion issues uh, along with a uh, rip current risks. So two possible scenarios. Scenario number one has the storm tracking close enough to put us in some rain and some wind, the magnitude of which we're not quite sure of yet as far as um, amounts of rain and wind. A scenario number two is one that's far enough offshore so that perhaps only the outer Cape and islands get clipped with rain and wind. We miss out on precipitation, get a little breezy around here, but the, uh, the surf remains still uh, very rough. So it wouldn't take much of a deviation, say left or right for uh, the storm to have really different outcomes. So a ways to go, but certainly now through uh, Monday, we're doing fine. It's a warm and humid weekend, a blend of clouds and sun and the Tuesday, Wednesday time frame watching closely. We're keeping at least some rain and some wind in the forecast with uh, temps in the 70s. Bottom line, just uh, stay tuned. All right, thank you, Tony. Now